Retired Purdue professors and other retirees at University Place are helping a Purdue professor in her research on Parkinson's disease. News Channel 18's Tiffany Dismore takes us inside the study and shows us how new technology could be changing for those who have the disease. I can hear the noise when I'm talking. Ian Scott was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease 12 years ago. He says talking is just one of the issues he's had to deal with. My wife tends to finish my sentences normally mm -hmm. because I don't, I don't project enough. Purdue Associate Professor in Speech, Language and Hearing Sciences Jessica Huber is conducting studies at University Place in West Lafayette to help improve the lives of those who have Parkinson's. We find that communication is a huge issue in quality of life. People who can't communicate feel that their quality of life is significantly reduced and by improving communication we can really make their lives better. Huber and other researchers at Purdue have developed this device in her lab that plays noise in the patient's ears. When a patient begins to talk, the device on their throat senses that and the device in their ear projects the noise. Making them think they're in a noisy environment, they talk louder automatically and tend to slow their rate and talk more clearly. This is what Scott sounds like without the device. Well, the biggest thing about Parkinson's is that to know that you, you can't do multiple tasks. And with the device. When you speak, mm -hmm. you get this crowd noise in your ear. It's rather like going into the mall. University Place Executive Director Mike Logan says the retirement community collaborates with Purdue on many studies, not just this one. Have our residents succeed in an overall wellness, but also it's to make an impact in aging science research. That's Huber's goal, too. She said that people don't talk over me anymore, which I thought was great. That's a great result. You can find out more about the study by visiting our website. Tiffany Dismore, News Channel 18.